Hello guys, so I'm back. So here's the radio without a face. It's a VGC VRN7500. So again, it's a dual band UHF and VHF uh, transceiver. And you control this using an app on your tablet, on your cell phone. And uh, just download the app. It's called HT. Uh, anyway, there's, um, you know, uh, there's um, instructions that goes with this uh, radio. Uh, I think it's a piece of paper. <laughs> so, and anyway, so um, here's the app HD. And then uh, I was surprised about the, the app because uh, it seems like it, it, it was really designed this radio was really designed for APRS use. So APRS, uh, Automatic Packet Reporting System. Uh, it's uh, an ham radio application wherein uh, uh, your radio would transmit on uh, uh, on data packet, uh, packet radio and a 1200 baud rate and um, you'll see your location on a map. Uh, radio transmits uh, with data including uh, latitude and longitude uh, data that's why when when it gets received by another radio uh, it puts your um, uh, station on the map so here uh, oh wait hold on it's still off I'm gonna turn this on so see there's a power button here so I'm gonna Turn this on and watch this. There, it turned on. All right, okay, good. So now the frequency you can change um, uh, by channels. So I, I created an APRS channel. Uh, it's on 144 decimal 39. Um, I have a channel two, which is on 448260. That's our repeater frequency. I created another channel 145.05 that's the packet um, uh, frequency here in Southern California um, there's a, a number of uh, frequency but this is the main frequency that we use and I created some uh, simplex frequency simplex frequency 145.570 uh, mm, and some pre-made uh, channels which you can easily change so in order for, the, for you to change it just you know uh, click on the the box and then you can edit the channel here see so rx frequency tx rx and tx ctc ss if you're using it on a repeater uh, re uh, system a TX power could be high or low or mid there see. so bandwidth uh, there's a wide and uh, and uh, narrow 25 and 12.5 so mute and talk around talk around is when you uh, use this uh, when it is set up on a repeater frequency and then you want to just use the simplex frequency uh, what else uh, allow scan pre the emphasis uh, received okay we'll go out from here and then you see here single channel or or dual channel received there that change to dual channel received mm, single channel okay then if I press here on the map, there you go. So, oh wait, the frequency, I need to change the frequency. Let me go back to APRS, there you go. Go back to the map, there you see. Here in Southern California, there's a lot of APRS uh, stations, hundreds of them all around Southern California, mm, as you can see. It's just a lot. 
Okay. So while I was, you know, looking around and trying to you know, see how I, can, I could uh, send a message to APRSPH, uh, tried to check in. I was able to do that, as you can see here. Let's see. Mm, right there at the bottom, I sent some test message using APRSPH uh, net. But um, it's so complicated, the, the app, that uh, I can't go back to it anymore and do it again. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's like, you know, uh, there's no manual. There's a manual uh, action. There's a manual link, but it's on Chinese characters. So it's just impossible. But I think I'm gonna show you guys. So I went here, options, and then you'll see um, how about nearby people. Oh no, that's not the one. <laughs> so, okay. So, settings, there you go. So, here you can change your EPRS settings, like there. See, you can do eye gate, internet to radio, radio to internet. I'm gonna put, um, choose the server. Um, and um, I'm not good at APRS, so uh, you guys would know this better than I do. So let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this icon probably is the message. There you go, messages. So message members and see I already created an APRSPH uh, here Sh should be yeah, around here and there there you go okay and here's the the history of the packet transmission that I made uh, it's like 30 minutes ago and as you can see it was acknowledged right there and I was able to send a, a message. Okay, acknowledge again. Right there. This was sent uh, to the Keller Peak. Keller Peak is up on the mountain, and they have a, a DG Peter there, and also via TCP/IP on the internet. Mm, and you see, I don't know. Just records track. How can I even track it if it's in the Philippines? I don't know. Mm, records then. Alright, well, guys, that's it. I don't even know how to send an email anymore again. I was just lucky I was able to do it. So, a message. No, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Yeah, that's the sound. That way you can hear the packet transmissions. Okay. So. The action, there's more to this than, you know, meets the eye, but um, it's just so hard. I don't know. Um, you have to go to APRS, message again. Does it work? Well, I was able to send an, uh, you know, uh, check in on the net. Uh, check. Searching. Let's search APRS PH. AP. Uh, there you go. It's there. See? So, from here, what do I do? Do I go here? Oh, there! See, now I got it. Yeah, I was able to, but can I go back and do it again? I don't know. I have to write it down. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, okay. So, I'm going to put net. This is taking a long time. Space. Uh, I'm going to say check in. Check in. 73. 
and by the way th uh, actually this is the first time I, uh, I use uh, an Android uh, 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 system so I don't even know how to use it it's crazy check in my mobile Seventy-three. Okay, let's try it out and see. Hopefully, there, there, transmit. Oh, hi, seventy-three. There, okay, six hundred plus. Oh, now it sounds, you know, mm, nice. Says acknowledge. Will I see it here? Now? There, you got acknowledge again. Oh yeah, this should go. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me see. Refresh. Oh, nothing. Maybe it'll take a while. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Come on. Where's my check in? Come on. Where's my check in? Hola, it's not working. Okay, you don't want to. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Come on, make it through the net. Oh, there you go, guys. Mm. Let me see. Check in, Abuai 73. Okay, I have to, you know. Um, this video is taking too long, but um, we may have to cut it, uh, make it a little bit shorter. So, okay, so that's it. So if you guys want to tr try this and it, 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 it just needs to you just need to know how to go about it and go around the, the app and uh, but once I guess once you get to get used to it you know it, it's a good you know way to go around on APRS uh, okay uh, how can I get out of here uh, let's just exit <laughs> So okay, that's it guys. It's the VGC VRN7500. So again, you control this using your app. Oh, and by the way, oh, I wasn't able to show you guys this. So this is like the, um, it's like a wireless uh, microphone and you can TX, look, and a TX. And receive it here too. So yeah, I can receive the APRS packet uh, sound data. And when I transmit, I'm on low power. It's like uh, five watts. Mm. Alright. So that's it. Bye bye. Bye guys. Bye bye.